When are your visitors most likely to become a lead or subscribe? How long does it take after a visitor first visits for them to become a lead or take an action on your website? Well, I've written so many articles and made tons of videos about why people become leads and how to get more people to become leads, but rare to hear the conversation about when, the timing. Okay, one reason I think might be because in Google Analytics it's really hard uh, to see the exact timing of things or to do analysis across you know, a long date range. It doesn't lend itself well to that. There aren't good reports for that. But today I'm going to combine GA4 with AI to make some reports that probably you've never seen before in your life. Certainly I'd never seen them. This is how to do timing analysis for conversions using GA4 and AI. Let's jump in. I'm going to use just the pages report. In other words, you don't even have to have key events set up yet in GA4. Uh, this, this report is going to use a dimension that I've never used in my career, the date dimension, uh, because it's really hard to analyze, but this method makes it quite easy. From the pages report, we choose a big date range, but make sure that it's not too big because you need this to still be a green check mark. If it's that little red triangle, uh, maybe it's not got all the data. Next, we're just going to search for the thank you page so that this column, this first column is just going to show a visit to the thank you page. Now click the blue plus to add another dimension, date plus hour. That's it. Now we export this to be a CSV and we're going to clean up the CSV because it's not the most structured data. Looks like this. Take out the comment rows at the top. And then actually there's a lot of these columns we don't even need, right? I don't need the thank you page or the engagement or key event, none of that. All I really want is the, the date and the number of sessions. That's it. Now I upload this to ChatGPT with a simple prompt. I'm giving you a CSV file showing the date and time of conversions for a B2B lead gen website. Perform an analysis showing conversions by day of week in a bar chart. Have you ever seen that before? It's a bit unusual, right? It's a chart showing the, the frequency of conversions on different days of week. Right? It turned that long kind of serial number thing in analytics into a nice chart by day of week. It's like a weekly chart. Next, perform an analysis showing conversions by time of day. It also does that in a, right away. There it is. This is the time of day. People become leads around midday on this website. Can we combine them? Yes, we can. Create a single heat map matrix showing conversions by both day of week and by time of day. Quite interesting. This is when leads are born. <laughs> you can see this for your own site. It only takes minutes. For me, here, my site, it's mostly middle of the week. It's mostly middle of the day. All kind of interesting. Uh, the analysis may be obvious, but AI can also help with that. You're a lead gen strategist. Make five recommendations for better lead gen based on this data. Okay, some of these are kind of obvious, like focus on peak times for certain time-based activities. Outreach, ad spend, emails, those are all functions of time. And then also, it suggests some off-peak strategies. I'm more skeptical on the outcomes of that. But this is interesting. Focus on lead nurturing at those times. Make sure your reps are ready for a quick response. That's kind of clever or that your automated uh, workflows kind of send people uh, messages at those times. I love that idea. Now we can do this for other outcomes, not just that one lead gen type of conversion. Just change the thank you page address and you can do this for any type of conversion such as newsletter subscribers. Look, same report, right? I've got the, I'm on the page path report, I've got a long date range, but this time I've searched for and I'm only looking at visitors to the thank you page after visitors subscribe. Web website, you can have a different thank you page for every type of conversion. Add that secondary dimension for date and hour. Wow, look, it looks like code, right? Those serial numbers, that's actually year, month, day, hour. But if I export this and upload that to the, to the AI, of course, you need to clean it up first. That's all I want is the date and hour plus the sessions. That's all it needs. It's going to choke on too many un unnecessary rows and columns if you give it too much. Now, day of week analysis. These are the days of week when my visitors tend to subscribe to my newsletter. Time of day analysis. These are the times of days when my visitors tend to become subscribers. Look, it's different than the lead gen. It's actually people subscribe in the mornings, but become leads during the, more during the work day. Combine them. A single HEBAT matrix showing conversions both by day of week and time of day. Here they are. Now, I'm taking this all with a grain of salt because it's skewed heavily toward the time when I actually already send the email. That's Thursday mornings, right? That's when our newsletter goes out. It has for like 15 years. Uh, 
But in Tuesday's interesting too. If I were to experiment, maybe do an A-B test with other timing, that might make sense. You can see Tuesday mornings are when people are really engaging with our emails. This goes beyond just conversions. You could do this for anything because of course in GA4 you can export anything with that secondary dimension of date uh, for any type of event. Let's do one for video views. These are, this is the, the report that shows when people are watching videos. It's an event report and it's I searched for video underscore start that shows when people click the play button on an embedded YouTube video. Nice long date range, there it is. These are the times of day and day of week when people are watching videos on this website. I love this because it's not best practices, right? There's a million articles about when to do different things based on large data sets, but this is not everybody. This is you. It's your data, it's your content, and it's your visitor. So it's all very specific. This is better analysis, I think, than a lot of the kind of time of, um, you know, classic blog posts that you've read a million times that I've written myself. Okay. I'm going to do another one now that shows time lag analysis. How long does it take after someone first visits to become a lead? Now, to do that, I need more data than I can fit into one report. I need the day they first visited, the day they converted, and I want to segment this, right, to show me when people actually became, um, uh, you know, from which traffic source they were. So it's very tedious to build these PowerPoint decks for AI trainings. So I'm going to do this one live. It's more fun for me too. Uh, here we go. Okay, I'm here in GA4. I'm gonna to go to the Explore section. I'm gonna create a, a blank exploration and I'm gonna start adding segments. Let's first name this Time Lag Analysis. And I'm going to uh, choose a nice long date range. Let's do one year. And I'm going to add some dimensions to this. One of the dimensions I need is the first uh, visit date. That's when they first came. Another one I need is just the date because that's going to be the date for the conversion. The conversion is going to be contact underscore lead. So I need to put, I need an event name to be able to find that and filter just to show that event. And finally, if we want to look at when the visitor first came, the source of traffic when they first came, uh, I'm going to choose the channel group, but I want the first user default channel group when, the vis when that visitor first came, right? Not just for that session, but for the first time that visitor appeared. I really don't need any metrics except event count, right? Because it's just how many times that event happened. Now I'm gonna build this little report. For the rows, I'm gonna make the uh, first visit date and the date, right? Those are the two things I need. I want AI to compare these after all. Uh, the value is going to be just event count. The column is where I'm gonna segment that. My Because this is how, see, explorations you can add many more, uh, uh, you can add more dimensions than you can just in a normal uh, GA4 report. Now, uh, I've got some stuff in here I don't really need. I don't really analyze. I'm not going to analyze all of these. Then these are very low data. Unassigned, that's just noise. Referral, I'm taking these out. Every every time I right click to exclude one of these, uh, it is display. I don't even do display. Take out organic video. Uh, every, every time you right click and exclude something, it's going to, <laughs> it's going to make a, a a seg uh, filter for you down here at the bottom. Right, see all these filters I just made? I like to switch these to heat map and I need to make one more, uh, I should have done it first, I need to make another filter to only show when the event name was the contact lead. So the event name will exactly match contact underscore lead. That's, when the, that's the actual type of conversion. Okay, that had millions of events, now it's just these events. Okay, now all I have to do is to export this to the CSV file uh, we're going to clean it up a little bit and then upload it to ChatGPT. Okay, this is my data. First visit, date, date, event count. Now those comments at the top, we can remove those. Uh, some of these little headers, I'm going to clean that up. Uh, the, room, the columns, I don't need those other columns. I'm going to remove those. This is really all I wanted. The first visit date, the conversion date, and, the, and these two different traffic sources that I want to compare. The prompt looks like this. What did I give you, AI? It's a CSV file, an export from GA4. The first column is the date they first visited. The second column is the date they converted to a lead. They're in this format. Now, remove the outliers. Got to tell it that because it's going to be weird stuff in here. Very helpful. Then perform a conversion timing analysis showing how long it takes for the visitor to become a lead. It comes back, it does this analysis, but I like to see visuals. Next prompt, of course, plot it on a chart. Wow. 
The vast majority of people who become leads do so on their first visit. Very interesting, zero day time lag. Um, there's interesting reasons for that likely, but let's break it down. Is that for all traffic sources? I gave you two traffic sources. The next prompt, separate each bar chart into two charts, one for organic, one for direct. Ah, organic visitors are even more likely to become a lead on their first visit than direct traffic visitors. This started a big conversation that I had. It was Ashley Faust from Atlassian and some other pro marketers explaining like how, how brand works and how there's really multiple touch points and you may have been nurturing this person for a very long time. This can, might be misleading. Basically, this, we're doing some like really the glass click attribution here ultimately, right? But um, still quite interesting uh, and it's a type of analysis that you can't easily do in GA4 without a bit of AI help. So there again, this is Andy from Orbit Media breaking down some methods for using that date dimension, date plus hour in GA4, exporting that data, uploading it to AI with some analysis prompts, creating some beautiful charts that probably you've never seen before. Not an analysis that I do very often. You know, this is one that I'll probably end up doing like a couple times a year, but still very, very interesting. And maybe give me ideas on staffing up the sales team or tuning up those ad budgets or fine tuning my email frequency or just setting expectations, right? Uh, very useful. Hope you found this helpful. We're going to keep making these. If you know someone who'd be interested in this type of, uh, of analysis or you know the GA4 AI uh, combo, uh, feel free to pass this along. Again, Andy from Orbit Media. Uh, we'll see you next time.